Hi guys, this is Miss Air, the one you miss the most. We thought that we would make some cakes and maybe you could join in. This is my helper today. She's going to do it. So if she can do it, anyone can do it. Yeah. How old are you, helper? I am seven years old. And what's your name? My name is Matilda slash Tilly. And this is, this is my daughter Tilly Boo. Okay, so this is 14 easy steps. I have put them on the website with what, all the ingredients that you need in the tin and everything like that, but you can, you can, you can wing it. Yeah. Right, okay, so the first step on my list mm -hmm. is we're going to put the oven on. The oven, yeah. And why do we do that? So it can heat up. Exactly, so we're going to put it on 160 degrees or 325 Fahrenheit, so I'm just going to do that. Yes, because they're the same. They are? Okay. And I, that, so that's I heating up now. Um, and then we're gonna. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna line a tin with greaseproof paper. Now this is greaseproof paper. You can get it from Tesco's or wherever. And the tin is about twenty centimeters by twenty centimeters. Now I've got this cake tin, which is not that. It's about. It's about that. Um, but you can also use. Mum might have like a baking tray that's quite deep. Something like that that you can line, it's fine because it comes out and everybody's got one of those at home. So, we get our greaseproof paper. So, this is how we do it, isn't it? Let's move those things out of the way, boo. Yeah. We put, unroll the greaseproof paper like this, uh -huh. put it on the side, and then we get the tin and we put it on top of the paper. Mm -hmm. And then, if you could draw around that side, grammar assistant, with a pencil. Okay, and then I'll do this side just because yeah. you can't reach it. Yeah, I'll be like, like that all the time. Okay, so then you can see whew, this is my group of proof paper with a square on it. So then what I do is I use my scissors to I cut it out. Do you want to do that, darling? Yes. Let's move this. I way. love cutting. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go for it. So I hope that you'll make this. Your mum's dad will remember this. It's a tray bake with sprinkles that they would have had at school. I saw it on the internet. I've never made it before, so mine might be, be just as bad as yours. Oh, you're right there, mate. Yours might, but then, yours might be really good. Yeah, okay. Good girl. I think it might help you if you put the scissors up the right way. Okay, right, let's do this one. Quick sticks, ready, go. Doesn't have to be perfect. Go on, that's fine. Just keep cutting. Good girl. Right, keep going. That's it. In a straight line. Easy peasy. Doesn't matter if it's perfect. Right, right. wonderful. Well done. Okay, uh -huh. so we've just got to... A little bit. A little bit there. That's it. Right. Ooh. Get rid of this. Rubbish, and that is our square glamorous assistant. Yes, so the keeps rolling up, so I might need to hold it. <laughs> right, so then what we do, we turn it over. So you haven't got the uh, two, it doesn't Sorry, roll away. I wanted to get the margarine out. There's the tin. Okay, so then I grease the tin a little bit. Is that butter? No, this is margarine. You can use unsalted butter, margarine, whatever you've got at home will be fine. If I could actually open it. Okay, so what I usually do is, if it's a new one, I'll use the top. If not, just use a piece of kitchen roll. And just take a little tiny bit, because you want to do the sides, so that when it rises it doesn't stick. So do the sides a bit, just rub it on. So it just so when you open, so when you take it out, just it's all crumbled up and it's broken. Yeah, don't mind the stick then, will it? Go like so go around the sides like that, but also just put a little bit in the middle on the bottom like this because that will make your square stick. So pop your square in. Try and put it so that if there's any pencil showing, it is penciled down so that you don't need your pencil. It's a bit gross. Okay, so that's done. We put that to one side. Should we put the table? Pencil. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So that is our second step line a tin tray with fresh food paper. Okay, step three is cream the butter and sugar together. Yes. Okay, 
So you're going to weigh it out for me. So I like to have the bowl that I'm going to mix in, and I like to use a separate bowl to measure, and then I'll pour it in just in case I get it wrong, because it does happen. Right, so we need 150 grams of caster sugar. So shall I pour it in and you tell me when it's right? Um, okay, so on my scales I can do it to different um, measurements. I've got it on grams. Stop touching it, please. Okay, so we want that to be 150. One, Are you ready? Five, oh. Have a look. Yeah, so 150. Yeah, that's true. Or oh, what's that? 93. 97. Oh, 101. There you go. Look, yeah, that's. Oh, oh wait, that's 149. I am very bit specific about my baking. Yeah. I believe that yeah. anybody, anybody can bake. You just have to do the recipe exactly. I'm a bit of a stickler for the rules. Yeah. Okay, so then that. Do you want to tip that in there, hun? Right, and what's the next one? Butter. Tip it all in. Wonderful. Right, pop it back on. Make sure it's zero again. Okay, it's still zero. Oh, oh no, it's two. Let's make it zero. Don't know. Zero. Okay, yeah. so now I'm going to put the That's a lot. margarine in. I'm not going to put it on there. It smells really good. What, already? Just the sugar? No, that. I'm going to put my margarine in a different container. The margarine smells really sticky. good. Okay, start again. Okay, so tell me when it's 150, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a lot. Oh, nearly there. How many more do I need to make it 150? You need... If it's 125, what are we going to add to it? You need 25. Yeah. Go on. She doesn't get her math skills from her mum. There you go, 150. Right, tip that in as well. Woo. Oh. Did it all go in? And Wonderful, that's there. fine. Okay, so now we're going to mix it up. Right, in a minute. Yeah. We don't need Let's get our mixer. Yeah, mix, mix. Now today I'm using Tilly's mixer. Yes. Yeah. We've got two because got, she likes to have her own. Because we want to put the things like go underneath and then it were the ones that like mix around. One broke, didn't one it? One of those. So we wanted one of those but I actually came with the whole one. So a mummy made it mine so we have one each. We do. We're very lucky, aren't we? But how do you know which one's um, which one's which? Oh, it's at the forefront of my mind every time I use it which one's which. Right, okay, so we put our. We're not going to put those on because we're not risking anything. I don't know why I put those on. Okay, so we put our mixer ones on to cream. So this step is number three and it is a cream, the butter, and sugar together. I want to do this a lot. No, well, I'm going to do it over because this is where the um, electric is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's doing it already. It was doing it by itself. This is how we bake in this house. Bit crazy. Okay. Oh, I just had a beep. So that means that my oven is now ready. Okay, so we're going to cream these together. So we mix them. Try and keep the mixer at the bottom. Because if you lift it up, it's going to go everywhere. I will show you inside. This is what it looks like. A little bit like scrambled egg. Yeah. Mix it all up till it's light and fluffy. Like really yes. If you've used a block of margarine, this might take a little bit longer than if you've used a tub like I did. So till it's nice, looks lovely. Looks like scrambled egg, but scrambled egg that's not lumpy anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rid of that. Right. So the next step. He said, add the eggs one at a time. One at a time. I know I really want to do that. You can do that. You can't see us because there are things in the way. So I'm going to move it. <laughs> Ta-da! There, there you go. There she is. Right. We're going to do one egg at a time. And then I'm going to mix it. I'm, I'm trusting her. I'm because ready to I, fish out the uh, shells. I love doing this. You love it, don't you? Right. One at a time. Then you mix it in between each egg. So pop one in. That's it. Perfect. Oh, there's a tiny bit of shell. Can we, can we get that out? Yeah. Right, pop that back in. So, Mummy's going to give it a mix in the middle. Mix it round. Give it a little mix. 